My friend, my friend, this is another great ukulele song out of the second ukulele book, All Time Classes, Classics by Mr. Thomas Ballinger. I love this one because the songs are all pretty much in the key of C, D, G. Something's not too out of the normal, but they all, all are relative to C major. So if you know your basic seven chords, C major, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, and C again, then you could probably play all of these songs. Today's selection is page 77 off of the book, and it's gonna be called Sakura. S-A-K-U-R-A, -A, cherry blossom. Side note, if you've never seen a, uh, <clears throat> like a cherry blossom, check them out. They are gorgeous and they smell so wonderful. So uh, when we're playing this, the concept is if you play the melody, which has the two, two, four, or the B, B, C sharp. <clears throat> when we go to the B, C sharp, up here to the D, and then we go back down, we can use our fingers to do this as a melody. The one thing we don't wanna do is use one finger and jump around. It makes it kind of hard to find your home base when we do that. Speaking of home bases, when we play this B minor, it incorporates the whole second fret. If we play our ring finger, the third finger, on the fourth fret on the G string closest to our nose, we get a B note in unison. So, playing a minor with these three down is the equivalent of playing B minor seven. So if you're not attacking this low note and you're just playing the top note, feel free to get rid of that additional finger. Just don't hone in on that high G string giving you the A note. <clears throat> Nothing wrong playing an A over the top of a B minor. Yeah, what do we have there? F sharp, B and a D, and then an A. <laughs> Other than that, here's what the feeling of this is going to be. We're going to have a full chord for the chord structure. We're going to play the two again, because that's part of the melody. Because in the original strum down, it would have fallen on the two, two, four. Right? Play the B. Now, instead of going up with our third finger to play this note here, try playing it with our pinky. And then playing what looks like a B diminished or a G7, except not here, starting on the E string for the F note, the D note, and the B note, but playing right here on the C string for the C sharp <clears throat> or the D flat. The A note and then the F sharp or the G flat. Same thing and, and harmonically, they're both the same thing. So this, with that, gives us an F sharp minor. Watch how that fulfills the melody. I think it's a great way to move through the chord structure. If you can't jump back and forth between there, just go a little slower till you can. One of the other chords in here, I think is an E minor. So what we do is I like to play this E minor in the secondary fingering <clears throat> out of an F sharp minor into a B minor seven for the melody. We're gonna be pulling our fingers back to play the B minor again, and then the E minor. <clears throat> it is best suited to just keep the B minor seven or the B minor if you want to keep that finger down there and then throw out both of those notes. Second finger is going to be on the third fret of the E string. And then we're going to throw our, uh, what is that? <laughs> third finger on the C string at the fourth fret. <clears throat> Thusly, it's going to give you that shape but you're just gonna be playing the whole thing across it. If you want, you can play the full shape of the minor, which looks like the D minor. I know that's a lot of information. However, here's what it looks like in slow motion.
Interesting, huh? <clears throat> when we end on the last measure, notice how it has only one note, there's a half note, and then there is a half rest. Meaning, two notes are held, and then you rest for two notes before the song's over, okay? When we play through the whole thing, we get the feeling of you can add superfluous notes. Do you have any questions about the chords that are done here, what melodies were used, or how to go into deeper theory about what we're actually doing? Please ask in the comment section below. Other than that, enjoy. Have a great day. Aloha.